Hey, I'm going to show you what makes a Lion's Gear so damn great. <clears throat> so, stainless steel piano hinge, stainless steel inner drum, which a lot of consumer machines have, and stainless steel outer drum, which no consumer machines have. Also, the suspension bolts directly to the base, which is this uh, very thick enamel coated, you can kind of see how, th how thick that metal is compared to just the, the casing. And that is a three phase commercial motor belt drive and it's controlled by this giant motor controller as far as I can tell this is just for the motor the actual machine control is up top you've got some wires coming down here but it looks like most of the rest of it is Go into the go into the motor. Maybe there is no. Pretty sure that's just the motor driver board. Anyway, big ass coilovers. Four of them. Most home machines have the springs up top, and they hang it off of this thin metal, and just uh, hope for the best. Which is why they're kind of rattly. And uh, they've mostly gone to um, direct drive motors, which these guys have not. Probably because I could just go find one of them motors if I had to in a pinch. I'm sure Granger would sell me one. It's important if you're running a laundromat. Nice rubber mounted uh, drain pump. This thing is kind of noisy, but it's not too bad. And uh, this would normally be a cast iron or a uh, concrete piece sitting on top of the, of the tub and another one hanging below. This just has the one, but it's cast iron. In fact, it is so cast iron that uh, for shipping, you have, uh, you have a bracket that bolts between here and here to hold the tub in place. Also a nod to its commercial nature, the door boot is held on with a giant, giant worm clamp. So yeah, this thing is pretty rad. This is the uh, out of balance switch. You can see that's a pretty standard looking part. So yeah, this was uh, built to last, very much so compared to a home machine or an official home machine or whatever.